Assalamu alaikum, it's Habiba here again and in today's episode I will be showing you how to make sambusa or you may call it samsa. Let's get started. You can find all the measurements for the ingredients in the description below. I usually make all of my dough with a mixer but you can do it by hand if you don't have a stand mixer so the only thing you will do is melt the margarine which I didn't try adding the flour little by little so the dough doesn't get too hard Split the dough into three pieces. Make sure you work with flour so it doesn't stick to your working surface. They need to rest for about 10 minutes, then start rolling them out. So if you don't have a rolling pin as big as mine, you can use the smaller ones. I have different sizes, so I'm using the longest. That, that makes the process easier. I personally find it easier to roll out the dough into oval shape. Now melt the butter in the microwave or on a stove top. Then pour some on top of the rolled dough just like so. So basically you need to repeat this process three times. So here's the thing. 
in my case I made my sambusas very small and the crust I usually make thin that's why I'm cutting the the roll into 16 18 pieces but what you can do you can cut them into 12 pieces if you want your sambusas to be big enough as you can see I'm using a lot of flour while I'm working with the dough it makes the process easier once the little discs are done cover them with the plastic wrap and put them in the freezer for about 10-15 minutes now we can start making the filling today I am only using of half of the discs that I have prepared half of them I am just leaving in the freezer next time if I want to make some bushes they are ready to go that's the reason I am only using half of the onions that's needed for the whole recipe and half of the ground beef. Make sure to cut onions very thin or you can even chop them. Then squeeze them with your hands as much as you can. And then you're good to go to mix in the ground beef as well. The crust of sambusas are very thin this time. That's how my husband likes. He likes more meat, less dough. <laughs> so if you like otherwise, go ahead and make the crust thicker. Stay tuned until the end to watch a video that I have recorded last year on how to shape sambusas in different ways. Now egg wash the sambusas sprinkle with sesame seeds or black seeds just like so and leave them to bake for about 35 40 minutes in 400 degrees fahrenheit which is about 200 degrees celsius here they are beautiful and crispy sambusas I really hope I was able to explain the whole recipe and the whole process to you and it was easy to understand and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to my channel like my videos and share with your friends most importantly cook and bake with love see you next time